Nevada Virtual Academy, proficiency exam, juniors, seniors, algebra students. Um, you will keep working on on the A plus, right? You will keep solving problems every day, and uh, I'm giving you one more in here to um, to be solved. Problem number twenty one. Geometry and algebra, analytical geometry, whichever way you want to call it. Simple math, actually. The height of a triangle is three more than its base. If x is the base, then its area is. Okay? And as usual, when you have problems involving geometrical shapes, try to visualize your problem in a better way by making a you know a little drawing here a small sketch this is triangle a b c okay let's have um, a height from vertex a okay and that will be the height of your triangle and obviously the intersected um, line the intersected side here, the opposite of vertex A, would be your base. Now, if you guys don't remember to find the area of a triangle, you need half, one half of the base and height product, right? One half base times height. And you may see it written as base times height over two or many other ways, okay? What do we know? Well, we know that x is the base of your triangle. So your b in here equals actually x. Okay? What else do you know? Well, I know my height is 3 more. Be careful. 3 more than its base. 3 more means 3 plus or plus 3. Okay? then its base, which means my height will be its base, x, and 3 more than that, plus 3. Okay? And now all I need to do is to take my height, plug it in, to take my base, right, and plug it in. This way, the area of your triangle will be 1 half of base, which is x, times height, right, which height is x plus 3. And this gives you what? Well, I will have 1 half, and first of all I will multiply this x to everything inside the parentheses, will be x times x, which is x squared, Okay, as you can see, I open another parenthesis because everything in here will get multiplied by one half after that. And then you have x times 3, which is 3x. All right? Now, if you check your answer, there's no parenthesis, which means I need to remove that. And I will multiply everything that's inside this parenthesis by one half. So I will have one half times x squared, one half x squared plus one half times three x which becomes three halves x and this is my answer for the area of this triangle using the given fact right base x height x plus three and next step for you to check which one is the right answer a not good b not good because you have a missing x there c is definitely the right answer. C looks exactly the same with what you have after you have followed the steps that I show you here to solve the problem, right? 1 half x squared plus 3 halves x. And this is it. Basic stuff. Go back into your booklet. If you don't remember the area of a triangle, or if you're not sure about it, or if you'd want to double check, check it, it should be there. Then state your facts, x base, then what 3 more means, very important, 3 more is not 3 times, 3 more is 3 plus, or plus 3. 
plug in, substitute the values x for base, x plus 3 for height, then simplify, and here you are. You've got it. This is it. If you have any questions, if you spot any mistakes, let me know. Thank you, guys.